for me, coming back to the salon has been amazing. Um, after the first lockdown, we really thought that it was game over and we really thought that we would have had to shut our doors. So I guess coming back, it's been like a new lease of life. You know, and it's just, it's really nice when you come into work and, you know, you just see that name in your diary and, and, you know, it just changes your day and it's just that custom that you've been doing for five years. For me, it's like a balance of going to work and being creative and showing, obviously giving people something that makes them feel better about themselves, but also being a listening ear for customers that maybe don't have someone to talk to. Last summer in 2020, um, I actually got diagnosed with ADHD. Getting a diagnosis like that was there was a, there was a huge relief to know that, for example, I wasn't stupid. It was really enlightening, and I think when you get this kind of kind of diagnosis, you start looking at everything, and it just made me realise that we bump into people every day of our lives, and you know they've got the same amount of drama or the same amount of issues going on in their life as you do yours kind of enjoyed the first couple of weeks of lockdown. You know, it was the first time I'd had time off for five years. But then I guess for me, that's when my ADHD symptoms really started to present themselves. You know, I started to obviously get a little bit down, but then for me, I guess that's probably maybe, I don't know if that's my personality or whether it's part of my condition. I didn't stay down for long. You know, I figured out what I could be doing. And, you know, for me, I realised that if you were doing charity work, you didn't have to stay at home. Um, on top of me wanting to help people as well. So it was kind of like, for me to do charity, it was really good for me. It was really good for my mind. It was so good to get out of the house and do something for someone else. Um, it gives you such a good sense of well-being. And I guess if the pandemic taught us anything, it's that, it's to be kind to each other. When you go to a hair salon, it's more than just a haircut. You're supporting people that do more than just style your hair. They, they listen to people, um, they're integral parts of the community that you know give back. So for me, if you're gonna look after anyone, go support your local hairdressers and your beauticians.